Hi guys, Audio Guru here. Today I want to make a quick video to show you guys how to create a project template. Now, the reason that you'd use a project template is because you've created a new project, you've got it exactly the way you want it, and you want to be able to recall that at a later date so you don't have to fumble around, you know, create all your new tracks, all, all of your sends, do all of your groupings and things like that. So the project template is a quick way to get around that. So what I've got here, I've got a session already set up. So I've got all of my tracks down, so and they're all in folders. So I've got a drums folder, bass folder, guitars and vocals. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're ready to go. Now if you look down here, I've already got a couple of sends set up. So I've got a reverb, a delay, and a drums bus there as well. I've given all of these uh, track icons so I can visually see them a lot easier and quicker. And this is basically how I would start any session. Um, it took me about 10 minutes to set this up. But if I can get around having to set that up, that would be even better. So all you need to do is go to File, Save As, and then you find this screen here. So I'm going to save this as Nix Template. Then you click on Save as Type and change that to Template. And then you want to choose a folder to save it in. So I'm going to save it as a template file. And just click on Save. And there you go. So just to make sure it's worked, we'll go up to Help and click on the Quick Start. So this will bring up our Quick Start menu. Um, so we're going to go to create a new project, and as you can see, there it is right there. So now anytime you open up Sonar and the Quick Start Guide pops up, you'll be able to choose this straight from that title screen, which is absolutely awesome. So that'll save at least 10-15 minutes off the start of a session, um, which I, I think is great, because if you can save that time with your setup, you can really just get into recording and, you know, record that riff you've just created and not lose it so yeah so that's it for this video um if you liked it please comment like and subscribe if you'd like to see more please send me uh, a comment in the comment section if you want to know anything in particular let me know and uh, i'll do my best to do it thanks a bunch guys and i'll catch you next time cheers